You know your own degrees, sit down. At first and last, the hearty welcome. Ourselves will mingle with society and play the humble host. Our hostess keeps her state, but in best time, we will require her welcome. Pronounce it for me, sir, to all our friends. For my heart speaks, they are welcome. See, they encounter you with their heart's thanks. Both sides are even. Here, I'll sit in the midst. Be large in mirth. Anon, we'll drink a toast the table round. Blood upon my face. Tis Banquo's then. Better thee without than he within. Is he dispatched? His throat is cut, my lord, that I did for him. And thou art the best of the cutthroats, yet he's good that did the like for Fleance. If thou didst, thou art the non pariah. My good lord, Fleance escaped. Then comes my fit again. I had else been whole as the marble. Founded as the rock, as broad and general as the casing air, but now I am cabin, cribbed, confined, bound into saucy doubts and fears. But Banquo's safe. Safe in a ditch he abides with twenty trench gashes upon his head, the least bit of death to nature. Thanks for that. There the grown serpent lies, the one that's fled hath nature in him that in time will venom breed, no teeth for the present. Get thee gone. Tomorrow we will hear ourselves again. My royal lord, you do not give the cheer. <laughs> the feast is sold that tis not often vouched while tis a making. Tis given with welcome. To feed were best at home. From thence the sauce to meet is ceremony. Meeting were bare without it. Sweet remembrance, sir. Good digestion, weight on appetite, and health to both. May it please your highness, sit. Now were our country's honored roofed, were the graced person of our Banquo present. Who may I rather challenge for unkindness than chid for mischance? His absence, sir, lays blame upon his promise. Please it, your highness, to grace us with your royal company. The table's full. Here's a place reserved, sir. Where? Here, my good lord. What is it? Oh, it's your highness. Which of you, Tonius? Where, what, my good lord? lord? No, no. Thou canst not say I did it. Never shake thy gory locks at me. Gentlemen, rise. His highness is not well. Sit, worthy friend. My lord is often thus. And hath been from his youth. Pray you keep seat. If it is momentary, upon a thought he will again be well. If much you note him, you shall offend him and extend his passion. Feed, and regard him not. Are you a man? Aye, and a bold one that dare look on that which would appall the devil. Promise, Tom. This is the very painting of your fear. This is the air drawn dagger which you said led you to Duncan. Oh, these flaws and starts. Imposters to true fear would well become a woman's story at a winter's fire authorized by her granddam. Shame itself. Why do you make such faces? When all's done, you look but on a stool. Pretty, see there, look, lo. How say you? Why, why, what care I? If thou canst nod, speak to. Oh, if our charnel houses and our graves should send those back whom we bury, our monuments shall be the maws of kites. What quite unmend in folly. Uh, as I stand here, I saw him. Fie for shame. Blood hath been shed ere now in the olden days, before the humane statute purged the common wheel. I and sense too murders have been committed too terrible for the ear. The time has been that when the brains were out, a man would die in there and end. But now they rise with 20 mortal murders on the crowns and push us from our stools. This is more strange than such a murder Shh, is. My royal lord, your noble friends do lack you. I do forget.
Do not muse at me, my worthy friends. I have a, a strange infirmity, which is nothing to those that know me. Come, love and health to all. Then I'll sit. Give me some wine. Fill full. I drink a toast to the health of the table and to Banquo, whom we missed. To him and all, and all in all, our, our duty in the flesh. God vote and quit thy sight, and let the earth hide thee. Thy bones are marrowless, thy blood is cold. Thou hast no speculation in those eyes which thou glare with. I think of this good Pierce, but as a thing of custom. Tis no other, only it spoils the pleasure of the time. What man dare, I dare, approach thou like the rugged Russian bear, the armed rhinoceros, the herc and tiger. Take any shape but that, and my firm nerves shall never tremble or be alive. And dare me to the desert with thy sword. If I inhabit tribbling then, protest me the baby of a girl. Hex! Horrible shadow! Unreal mockery! Being gone, I am a man again. Huh. Pray you, sit still. You have displaced the mirth, broke the good meeting, most admired disorder. Oh, you make me strange even to the disposition that I owe, that you can behold such things and keep the natural ruby of your cheek when mine is blanched with fear. What sights, my lord? I pray you, speak not. It grows worse and worse. Question enrages him at once. Good night. Stand not upon the order of your going, but go at once. Good night. Better health attend his majesty. Kind good night to all. will have blood, they say. Blood will have blood. Stones have been known to move trees to speak. Augurs and understood relations have, by choffs, rooks, and maggot pies, brought forth the secretest man of blood. What is the night? Almost at odds with morning, which is which. Huh. What sayest thou that Macduff denies his person at our great bidding? Did you send to him, sir? We hear it, by the way. But I will send. There's not a one of them, but in his house I keep a servant feed. I will tomorrow, and but times I will to the witches. More shall they speak, for now I am bent to know by the worst means the worst. Before me, all causes shall give way. I am stepped in blood so far that should I decide to wait no more returning were as tedious as go on. I have such things in head that will to hand that must be acted ere they may be scanned. You lack the season of all natures. Sleep. I, let's to sleep. This strange and self-abuse is, is but the initiate fear that wants hard use. 
We are but young indeed.